Good evening all and welcome to another video on All How The Ale. It's Saturday night, which means it's craft beer night. And the beer we're going for tonight was uh, was made by Roald Dahl. No, it wasn't really. I'm lying. It's made by Arbor. It's this one. It is James and the Giant Nectaron. And uh, it's a double IPA. And it's a pint can. A proper pint can this time. Uh, 568 mil, not the, uh, the US one, which is smaller. Um... Anyway, what can I tell you about it? Well, it's an 8.4% double IPA, 4.8 units in the can, and it says it's a juicy double IPA with Nectaron, a Zaka, and a touch of Mosaic. Uh, yeah, I picked this one up from House of Trembling Madness. I forget what I paid for it. My order slip was somewhere near here. It's here. It is. Yep, hold on. Two seconds. It was. It was, it was, it was. Five ninety nine for a pint. That's crazy. Five ninety nine. Uh, anyway, it's only crazy if it's good, right? So let's uh, let's see, shall we? Let's get it out into a glass and see what we think. We're going to pour into a Teku glass tonight because we can. And the pour is pale, hazy. Leave a bit of room to swirl it about. That'll do. <coughs> Excuse me. So what we got? We've got a nice hazy beer. Golden. Good roll to it. it implies it's got some good body. A nice off-white head. Pretty tight. Yeah, reasonably tight. And that's proper hazy. Up to the light, there's bugger all coming through at all. So uh, yeah, looks good. Let's have a whiff. Stone fruit and citrus in a big, big way. Um, it's simple, effective on the nose. There's a good strength to it. Doesn't smell particularly boozy, but otherwise, soft peaches, nectarines, pineapple, and just a tiny hint of dankness, which is great, because I love dankness for mosaic. Um, so yeah, smells lovely. Looks good. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. Oh yes, it's very nice. Very nice indeed. The The body is medium to medium heavy. The carbonation is light, smooth, but not missing. And that flavour, ah, oh, it's bitter, it's juicy. It's stone fruit heaven. And there is just a touch of dank. I like. It's a really underripe stone fruit flavour. You've got a nice bitterness, pithy, slightly resinous, and it's boozier than I was expecting it to be based on the aroma. It's really, really good. Slightly oily. Hop presence, so it's properly well hopped, and that it's a really well balanced beer. And by that, I mean that it's clearly hop forward, but there is a nice robust malt supporting it all. And as you just let the flavours kind of simmer away in your mouth, it goes from really dark underripe stone fruit to really sweet, fleshy peachy notes and as that fades away you get a little hint of pineapple a lovely little dose of citrus and just that slightly sweaty sock dankness it's nice the finish is juicier than it is bitter but it's extremely hoppy and very long and Yeah, I like. I like it a lot. I do. Almost as much as I like Roald Dahl books as a kid. Yeah, George's Marvelous Medicine was my favourite one, I've got to say. Uh, James and the Giant Peach was good, but George's Marvelous Medicine was better. 
Fantastic Mr. Fox, the Twits, they're all great, but uh, James and the Giant Nectaron, damn good beer. Mmm. Before I waffle too much, we're going to go to the scoreboard of joy and fill it in. Uh, it currently looks like so. I've abbreviated the name because I couldn't be asked to write it all out. Um, red pen of judgment at the ready. And the beer, we're going to revisit the pour. So that's the colour. That's the pour. Not the headiest of beers. We can try and generate one. There we go. That will do nicely. It's a great colour. Great level of haze. Great head on it. What you do get is nice and tight and white. Hazy for days. It's almost chicken stock. It's chicken stock, let's be honest. It's great looking beer. There's no reason to give it anything less than a full point. The aroma is great. And I'm going to go for another whiff because I love it. Stone fruit heaven. Hints of pineapple. Bucket loads of stone fruit. Hints of dankness. What more do I want? Not a lot, I'm going to be honest. Uh, if anything, uh, that's, that's the kind of things I look for. Bitterness, dankness. Lovely stone fruit flavours on a double IPA. Yeah. Beautiful. It's having a point. Anyway, the body is medium to medium heavy. Mm. And as, like I say, a light, smooth carbonation that's ever so slightly velvety on the tongue. And I mentioned an oily, hot presence. That does seem to add a little something to the mouthfeel. But otherwise, the mouthfeel is nice and clean. Nice and light in the mouth in that sense and doesn't cloy or anything like that. It's having a point for that clearly. And the taste, I like my double IPAs hoppy, long, bitter, and well, just like this really. Uh, when it's got mosaic, I do look for that dankness. It does have a subtle hint of sweaty sock and uh, it's great. You know, beautiful stone fruit flavours, like I say, starts out bitter, ends up sweet, juicy and fleshy. And that, just that touch of pineapple, just to sweeten the thing out a bit. Yeah, it's great. And the finish, again, I like them hoppy, bitter and long. This one absolutely is, albeit it's slightly juicier than it is bitter. And that just adds an extra dimension of pleasure to the mouth. And I'm going to give it a full point. So yeah, James the Giant next one does have a full five out of five. Let's go to the bonus point, shall we? Uh, would I buy it again? You bet your bottom dollar I would. Absolutely. It's a tasty beer. And uh, going on to the next bonus, it's crazy value for money. $5.99 for a full pint of 8.4% double IPA. Um, that's insane value. Absolutely insane value. And the bonus point. Is it one of the best double IPAs I've had this year? And in terms of flavour, it's close to being one of the best. I've had better tasting ones to my palate, um, but that's not to say this is not good because it's excellent. It's got a full five out of five and a buy again tick box. Uh, so yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, what makes this possibly worth a bonus point is the insane value for money. Um, like I say, the beers that I've had that in, to my palate taste that little bit more special are quite a bit more expensive. And to get a beer this good at that price makes it worth a bonus point. Uh, so, James and the Giant Nectaron does have all the points. Yes, it's worth it. It is worth it. So, yeah, I do like a good Arbor beer. Uh, this is maybe the third, maybe fourth one I've had of theirs. And they just keep getting better. The collaboration they did with Mash Gang was an exercise in craziness, but it worked so well. That was Day Tripper, and that does need to come back, boys and girls. Uh, there's no two ways about it. And I've had a couple of others as well. I forget what they were off the top of my head. But this one is superb. Like I said, they just keep getting better and better and better. And, uh, yeah, if you've not tried it, I highly, highly recommend you do. And we'll leave it there and say, that has been a rather long-named beer. I've been me. Those down there are the buttons. You know exactly what to do with them by now. You've got your like, comment, dislike, and subscribe. Choose any combination of them as you wish. And I'll see you again soon for another one. Bye for now.